everybody welcome back uh, this is part three of the lavender mini journal series uh, if you remember we made a pocket here uh, did a little flip out here did a belly band we've added the signature pocket here pocket here tiny pocket here and so now I've decided I want to do two small pockets here so I thought we'll do that and then we'll get started on making some journal cards and tags. Okay, so I'm just going to get these put down very quickly. While they're drying, we'll get on with um, the little journal card that I want to put in the belly band there. And these are just um, little butterfly cutouts from the kit. All right, I'm going to set that to the side. And uh, while that's drying, I went ahead and cut out... Um, another piece of the paper pack and I'm going to just do a little circle up here. I thought I'm going to try to do a circle, a clear circle and back this with some tea dyed paper. So the first thing I want to do is round off these corners. my big shot to cut out a circle window and then we'll back that with some tea dye. I'm hoping I can cut one that's large enough to see that but it might not work. I don't know. I've kind of got a feeling it's going to cut that butter. Yeah, I'm going to have to find a different butterfly. Um, let me see if this one would work. No. Okay. Sorry guys, I should have done this before. Now that one will work. I think that's going to be the best one. Let me see if it would work on that one. No, just will. Okay, let me see if I can cut this out quickly. Yeah, I should have uh, checked that prior, but um, that's the way it goes sometimes. Actually, let me think about this. Yeah, let me just cut this out in that corner. Let me get this out of the way. And okay, sorry about that. Gosh, I got a mess in this room today. All right, so, yeah, I think that's going to look nice. Okay. 
I'm just going to ink on the inside of that circle. And now I'm just going to add a little bit of the, the acetate here to create a little window. So what is it you guys are up to today? It would be nice if you'd share what projects you're working on. If you're working on ephemera, building up your ephemera stash, or are you uh, working on a large journal? I, um, I'd love to hear what's keeping you occupied. Okay, so I've just laid that down over that, <clears throat> so now you can see. And what I want to do now is back this with some tea dyed paper. So let me grab a sheet. Okay, so what I tend to do now, guys, is just take this to the machine, and I stitch it, and then I go back and trim it off. And the reason I do that is I've found if I cut it exact, it can sometimes slip in the sewing machine, and then you come up short, and it just I've just found this is just an, an easier solution to it. So um, hopefully that'll help you out. So I'm going to stop the camera now, run this, stitch it, and then I'll be Okay guys, now you can see, and I'm just going to trim that around very quickly. Okay, so there is the back of that. Just slip those bits of thread. So now I think I would like to have a little tab, but would that get in the way? Hmm, it might. Yeah, actually, a tab will get in the way, so I'm not going to bother with that. Oh, I love how that looks. Okay, I'm happy with that. We said we were going to keep this as a little journal journal card, so that'll fit in there. Just do a little tag here. Let's see what I got here, guys.
Okay, I've just been to my little scrap pile. I've just pulled out a couple of things I've had left over that have some purple. I might try to incorporate those somehow. Okay, so just get this little tag. And then I want to stamp these two tags here. So let me grab a couple of stamps. This is a stamp set from my sweet friend Nancy. She's gifted me this, so I like this little jar. I just, uh, I think it's a really sweet image, so I'm going to stamp that. Well, I say I'm going to. I don't know all of my... Hmm, my stamping blocks, where have they gone? Huh. Okay, I'm just going to have to try to make do with this one. It's too big, but I'm hoping I don't mess this up. I don't know what I've done with those now. Ugh. Okay, I want to do one with this image, but I'm going to need a larger um, tag. Let me see where I've got one. I'm thinking that will fit. Okay, back here. Yeah. That'll be fine for that one. I do like that. I picked that up at, uh, there was a little stationery shop here in town, and they um, went out of business. But I picked that up on sale before they did close, and I love that. Um, okay, the other one I want to do is a little flower.
Okay, and the last thing to stamp is um, the image for the front. And I've got some handmade paper pieces here, and I, I'm going to use the um, butterfly. This is the Tim Holtz. I've used this stamp a lot. It's, it's, it was a good purchase. You know how some stamps that you buy and you think, oh, probably use it once or twice, but I've used this one several times. Okay. Getting there, guys. Just hang in with me. We should be able to finish this up very soon. Oh, actually, I just realized I've got to stamp that again. I'm working on two of these side by side. So I'll just leave that out. We'll just scoot on with, with what we've done. Okay, so we'll set that to the side. Let's just get some... Um, Lace on these. I want to distress them a little bit. See if I can find some lace here. It's pretty. It's a little bit different to the color I normally use, but that works as well. open up the window. It's getting a bit warm in here today, but my neighbors, the kids are at home, and um, I think they're having like a little party next door, so it would be pretty noisy, so I won't do it. Alright, I'm just going to tuck that in there, and then we've still got some snippets we need to make. I'll add a little bit of this onto that one. do we need to do? Let's go ahead and get this on the front cover. That's going to go there. It's getting kind of chunky now, so yeah, I better go ahead and get this added. So I want to put some lace behind that. Let me just see what I've got uh, that's going to work. Okay. 
And let me see, I might try to layer some. Okay, so let me just play around with this a bit and uh, get this the way I want it. And then I'm going to take it to the machine and actually stitch this and then I'll glue the whole piece to it. Yeah, I like the idea of that one there. add a little bit more as well. Okay, now let me see what else, because I feel like I want to do something else with it. I, I might have a bulb pin with a little dangle. Yep, that's what I'm going to do. Alright, so what I'm going to do, <laughs> I'm going to carry this over, zigzag this little leaf trim on, and then I'm going to stitch around the perimeter of that, and then around this, and I'll be back, guys. Okay, guys, I have stitched that, and now you can see it's going to be so much easier now just to to glue that to the cover. So we'll do that and then uh, And then I'll just come back and make sure all the little corners are secure. Because I don't want any of this fabric just fluffing around. I want to make sure that's really nice and secure there. thing I want to do while I've got this closed. I recently purchased some of these little one inch butterfly circles from Victoria Designs on Etsy and I cut out two of those that are purple and I'm just going to back them and then I can uh, Add those to the little bulb pin. I bought these because I'm going to um, be making some charms out of those. Those are so pretty. Okay, so yeah, I think that's going to be sweet.
me add a little bell to that. Actually, I'll use a little dragonfly charm. We'll close that with some sorry silk, but let's just finish up in here. We need oh this little tab is for there. Okay. So we'll tuck that in there. And we need journal card here, and then I forgot we've got to do a tag on the back. So I've got this stamped journal card. And I'm going to tuck that in there, but I need to make a, a tag for the back of that. Make sure this is going to fit before I go through all the trouble. Yep. That's not going to. Okay. This is an Artie Mays that I've got left over. And I think what I'll do... Let me see if I can just add a few things to this. We'll do a little bit of collaging on that. These are some little uh, labels I got from Chapter 1 on Etsy. And I love their, because uh, they're really soft pastels. So let me use that, and then just try to think. I'm just going to fussy cut one of these butterflies out of here. I think that will match okay. It all takes time, doesn't it? I don't know uh, how some of the people are able to put out um, journals as quick as they do, honestly. Wow. It just amazes me. Um, a couple of the ladies that I follow, man, they can put them out daily. Sometimes two, two a day, and I don't know how they do it, honestly. Because I'm putting in, 
probably now, I'm not putting in the hours I was, um, but I'm still putting in at least eight hours a day. And when I was first got going, because I was working alongside uh, the days that I wasn't at work, I was putting in 12 to 14, and I still couldn't produce them as quick as um, other people. I just, it amazes me. It really does. Okay, so let me see. Oh gosh, guys, I've got to get this window open. I'm about to suffocate in this room. It's warmed up a lot today from what we... We had a bit of a cool down here, but uh, today it, I can feel the difference. I'm going to have to get a fan in here and get some air moving. I've got um, a couple other projects I'm still working on, so... Even when I'm done with this, uh, I've got a couple other things I've got to work on. Okay, so let's see how it's looking. Alright guys, so that's how it looks now. With the cover. Got the little charm. The bulb pin. Open it up. We've got this flap with the journal card here. A little window. And there's writing space there. And now you can see the belly band. I'll give you a close-up there. And then over here I've got two, two little pockets. The few things tucked in there. And then we've got all the pages. I Like I said, I'm just going to leave this one plain because I don't want it to get too big. This is just to pop in your notebook or your purse. And then, um, oh yeah, I do want to add a couple of little butterflies. Let me do that. So I'll add a couple of butterflies there. And I'm just going to use some of the scrap. And then, yeah, we're going to call this done. And I'll let those dangle below the journal because they won't be in the way. And then we've got a tag here, and a journal card here, and then another small tag there.
Okay, there we go. That's the little journal completed. So thank you guys so much for, for joining me for that. Um, I'll be back with another project very soon. Take care. Bye.